Do you want to know how I've been living under a rock forever? How? I just found out Totally Spies is getting a new season back when that was announced in January. Wait, what the heck? Like... <laughs> That's news to me. I mean, I never watched that show, but... Like... I remember watching that. Mm. <laughs> Thinking just the other day, you know, the show was fun. They should get, they should do another season. Yeah, the only thing I know about it is that apparently it's very, it has like a lot of fetishes or something. I was, I was going to say, is it basically just like a show for people to discover their fetishes? That's the literally the only thing I know about it. Like I never watched it, so. Okay, so. <laughs> Good. Was... It's already good. It's back. Yeah. No. I. <laughs> I knew this was gonna be waiting for us. It's like, what? You gonna escape me? Yeah. We could just uh, do. I don't like this. I don't like this daredevil. Yeah. We we could have just done Bowser Junior, but I guess it's best to just get this done. I usually get comets done as soon as I see them. Yeah. It depends on. Like, it depends on my mood. Sometimes I just do them later because I'm not always in the mood for them. I just rather do them now yeah. while I know they appeared. Yeah. It's more... There's more multiple choice in Galaxy 2 though because that game gives you a lot of options um, pretty frequently. So, um, like, it feels like... Not, not always doing... The um, comets is sometimes viable, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> you get the point. Mm. Yeah, it's basically just the same fight again, but unlike the. What is it? The one in the uh, Fountain Dome, this is a lot more difficult because he doesn't go down really easily. I already was... forgot the one we did in the other dome. Yeah, it's the. Um... Guy you bounce on and spin into the electric fence. Top, like, the, the top of a top man thing. Yeah. This guy is just overall harder. <laughs> yeah, I, I... I was saying... I wanted to bring this up as well. I... I've realized how well done the... Okay. Uh, like oh, how... Nice. It's hard to... How well... Yeah, I was... Mm. <laughs> I'm trying to focus. <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh, good hit. I didn't actually think that was going to work. Nice. Well, as they say, we take those. <laughs> I'll take yeah. that. I was, I was expecting that to take a little longer, to be honest, just because of how long it takes to, to even get the, the second hit on the fr second phase. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. Hey, hey, hey the, the, the less we have to do this comet, the better. <laughs> <laughs> I... The... The two worst dead of comets for me are the... One we mentioned before, where you had to do a whole level, and... Yeah. Actually, the... Probably the second Camilla fight, because that one gives me quite a lot of trouble. Hmm. And I'll make mention usually of that one. Yeah, usually it is Boulder Guys for me, though, and uh, yeah. in the one we were talking about earlier. Is that, yeah. all the level, is that all the other levels here? Should be. Doesn't say Galaxy Complete. Um, it doesn't... Well, that's because we have to do... It's probably a purple coin there. Yeah, these are... Yeah, the main... Galaxies aren't going to be, like, complete for a while. But yeah, I was going to say about the Comets... What I've come to realize about them is how well they've done the um, difficulty balancing for them, in, the, in a sense, because they start off, like, really easy with the ones in the uh, Terrace Dome, and, like, with the Dead Over one, they make sure to do a really easy one right away, so it's not overwhelming to begin with, and then they just gradually make them, like, more intense as you play the game, so... It's, I don't know, it's just a nice difficulty curve, and that's something I right. brought up before, like, I think both this and Galaxy 2 really do, like, difficulty balancing really well, um, and it's not an easy thing to get right. 
Difficulty balancing, yeah, that's typically not exactly something to do. It's, it's, it's all easier said than done. So. Yeah, also, secret thing over here. They're like, um, uh, what was a good example I could mind? Like, games that have good. I'm trying to think of something that's just like generally like, too hard or something. Yeah, too hard for like, just out of nowhere. Yeah. Oops. I knew that was gonna happen like someday. Like, 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 <laughs> yeah. I, I'm so used to ground pound being like, the right trigger, or something. Uh -huh. but yeah, there are some games that just have like really bad difficulty spikes where, the where the rest of the game, is like nowhere near as difficult. Um, honestly, Banjo Kazooie kind of does that sometimes. Like. Most of the game is fairly easy, but it just has random spikes in difficulty that just fill our place. What comes to mind first? Um, engine room, obviously. Um, uh, click some parts of Click Clock Wood, and I guess Vile's mini game in Bubble Gloop Swamp. Hmm. Uh, maybe I guess maybe you could arg argue the thing in Clanker's Cavern. Like what, usually, where I'm getting to the key? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, no. Captain Toad, I know you can't jump. How'd you get here? <laughs> they got, he got dropped off by the ship. Fair enough. Right, you gotta be careful <laughs> here. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. Yep, okay. <laughs> You're lucky that the... Um... Space skateboard has like a curved <laughs> end. This is kind of, yeah, it's a space skateboard, isn't it? <laughs> That's funny. It's a good plank. Thank you, plank. So now we actually fight Junior head on. This is probably one of my favorite bosses in the game. Well, we were talking about this earlier, but yeah, when you when you put scale on him, on he's gigantic. <laughs> yeah. You know how Bowser sometimes will eat power up to make himself bigger? Also, if you, if you hit him directly, he does give a lot of star bits. I'm gonna try and do that. Yay! Oh, I didn't know that. You can only do that once, though. I think if you do it again, he's just gonna fall over. <laughs> Let me try that. But that doesn't count as a, it doesn't count as a hit, though, does it? No, it does not. <laughs> Literally candy from a baby. You, 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 have, you have to hit the ship for... Yes. You know, what are these Koopas even doing here? They're not- I don't know, they're just kind of chilling. They're piloting the ship. Are they really? <laughs> just going back and forth. Back and forward, back that... and forward. Ah, yeah. I love Mega Man X3. Duh. That's not what I had in mind, but okay. I think my brother and I were playing this level in like 2007. And I managed to jump, wall jump off the sides of the wall, and two bullet bills kind of crash into each other. It felt like an action movie sequence. Yeah, I love this end bit because it just has like obstacles flying everywhere. It gets really intense. Hey, Junior is a bad boss. He's just killing his own men. Yeah. Damn it, I missed. Uh. Yeah, I, I love this theme, or, by the way. This... I, or no, or he's or he no, he's the boss's kid, so he can do what he wants. Yeah, I'll say as well. This is probably my favorite boss theme in both from both Bat Galaxy games. Like, it just fits Junior perfectly. <laughs> oh, he oh, just geez. killed his own man. <laughs> Rest in peace, Kamek. Nice. Damn it. Ah. Yeah, he just sends like. So much stuff at you at the end. And... There we go. Five hits. Yep. Man, man, they're breaking the mold for Mario games now. <laughs> I mean, there are some bosses that do take more than three hits in this game. Um, it's a, I don't think there's anything else. I think it's just, like, coins and... Yeah, I don't care. Did you see how static? <laughs> yeah, the Koomba was just like, Hi. <laughs> That Goomba was hiding it's just out. Like, it's like, if maybe if I don't move, he won't notice me. Yeah. 
But yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this in an LP before, but I think Junior tends to have some of the best boss fights in the series, just in you general. You mentioned it. Probably. Did I mention that in, like, Sunshine? Or, like... Probably Sunshine or New Mario Wii. Probably. Yeah, I think... I might have mentioned it in Mario Wii, because there's, like, three Junior fights in that game. You gotta love, like, New DS, or you can just stand there and fire fireballs at him and he just dies. Hmm. Yeah, Mario D New Mario DS is not um, one of the better outings for Junior. Well, because he has no gimmicks. All he does is run into you like he's a boom boom. Yeah. Like, discounting New Mario DS, uh, Bowser Jr. tends to have really good boss fights. Thanks to you and your friends, the domes are <laughs> Once the engine room of the upper level has power, the whole observ observatory will be working. Yes. And the comet observatory will fly as a starship once again. Yeah, so... Yeah, they... And you will be able to fly to your special one, center of the universe. Yeah, pay attention to that wording as well, because... Um, you literally just have to make the engine room, like, operational. You don't actually have to finish it, so... Um, theoretically, if you have enough stars by the time you finish the bedroom to like go save peach then you can just do that right away you don't need to do wait the... wait wait. we have a hungry luma we have a hungry luma wait have we wait what have we done that one already in the kitchen i'm pretty sure we did did we i forget uh that was the one with the eels wasn't it was it i forgot sorry okay it's a normal yeah. luma sorry i think mm. yeah yeah sorry i forgot <laughs> yeah uh but yeah you don't you don't need to do any of the levels in the uh, engine room. Speaking of which, we're already, hey, we can already go to the end of the, be the bedroom. <laughs> yeah. Again, the, if you're playing the game like I am, then you're gonna, you're just gonna be able to do that right away. Alright. Of course, we're not doing that first. Let's see what number 24 is. And there's a fly in this room. Oh, 24 is that one. <laughs> mm-hmm. One that we've all been waiting for. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, I don't think I've... I'm, I don't know if I mentioned this in, like, the LP. I know I've mentioned this, like, in DMs, but... Yeah, this is the point where, like, there's going to be at least three big stages. So, the domes are going to be quite a bit longer from now on. So, yeah, we have quite a lot of options. Um, do we... Well, well... Let's just do Honey Honey Clans, it's the only single. Yeah, I guess so. Now we're gonna see the B power for a little while. <laughs> yeah, we have I think this is probably the best showcase of the B flat uh B power up in this game. So you just climb it. You gotta scale wall. this gigantic wall right here. Yeah. It's just one big obstacle course, basically. Yeah. I like stuff like this. Just nice, like Vertical obstacle course, just keep climbing up. Oh, yeah. Why am I getting flashbacks to the pachinko stage? <laughs> uh, Background? Maybe because it's like a giant flat wall. Honey sounds. So this is like Mario 3 Athletic theme again. <laughs> yep. Love this theme. It is a good theme. By the way, if you fall, uh, yeah. Just a notice, if you fall off the wall, uh, what happens is Mario oh. will basically, uh, fly straight again. <laughs> yeah. It looks kind of weird. I guess this is a good, this is a good time to talk about the power-ups, because I know there's a, like, a lot of people don't particularly care for how the work in a lot, most of the 3D Mario games where they're more situational. Um, how do you guys feel about that? Like, do you prefer how they work in the 2D games, 3D World and 3D Land, or the, like, some of the 3D games? Um, Indifferent. I like, I kind of, I prefer having them more as like, the, I do like having them as the power-ups more as like, you know, an extra hit. Mm. Because, like, yeah. when they're situational, because they feel more context-sensitive more than anything. Yeah. That said, I don't necessarily mind, like, the, the, mo the moments where I have to do it. I just prefer it the original way. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, um... oh, yeah, don't get hit once here. <laughs> yeah, you're going to fall and die. <laughs> but if you get hit twice, you'll live. Yeah. No, um... 
I can understand that. It, I think... Oh my god, what is going yeah. on? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're a bee of climbing a wall is what. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I, I like the style of powers for the 2D games, but honestly, I gravitate more towards the power-ups in, like, the 3D ones. Mainly, mainly the Galaxy games, because I feel like with um, how they're quote-unquote situational, they can design the power-ups around the levels more, where, whereas in, like, 3D Land and World, I guess, they're more used as a... I don't want to. I don't want to call them a crutch because it makes them sound bad, but they, their design is completely different, and it works for those games. But I don't really enjoy that as much. I enjoy it more when they're designed specifically for an obstacle course. Mm. That's fine. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I people seem to ah. like when when people like talk about the. Si the power-ups being situational, they tend to view it as, say, in, like, a negative context. I, I don't really think the power-ups need to be, like, use useful in, like, multiple situations. I think it's fine to be situational. That's not bad, like, on paper. I'm not saying, well, power I'm not saying it's bad for, like, it's just that, like, why is the fire flower on a timer, for one thing? You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I never really... I, get, I can kind of understand the ice much. flower to a degree, but, like, the yeah. fire flower, which has been a Mario staple. Yeah. I think it... So it might be more of a case-by-case -case basis on the on the pirates themselves. Hmm. Like, obviously... Well, I know I'm getting ahead of myself with this, but, like, the rock mushroom in Mario in Galaxy 2, like, that's fine for being situational since it's... Since it's, like, I don't really see where all the level design could work with that. Mm. Like, it's specifically for ramps, and like, ramming and running down shit. Yeah. I can get that. I just don't- I just don't really think the 2D power-ups would really work in a setting like this. I think- I think Sunshine probably has the best marriage of the two, because uh, the nozzles are- like, they have the- situational moments, ish, whatever that really means, but it has like a lot of just general general uses for movement. Like you definitely, you, you don't necessarily need the hover nozzle besides a couple of instances, so. Yeah, it just feels like a nice like extension to Mario, so uh, I, I guess uh, that works in that. Yeah, yeah, also best song in the game. Yeah, um, yeah, we all know what's coming. <laughs> I think we should stay we'll be quiet for a bit. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll stay quiet for like a couple minutes because, yeah. <laughs> Not sure about what the song fully loop, but we'll at least give it a moment. Yeah, I think it, it'll be best to just m mute our mics for a couple minutes so we don't like get sounds brought in. So just yeah, enjoy the music. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Good stuff. <laughs> yeah. And that's, what my, that's what my other budget will do. Yeah. I love that they went all out with this game and just in terms of everything. Like, they really went just full budget with everything, and I love that. You can tell this song is, like, very popular just for the fact that it's pretty much it. It might as well be a lay motif of this game. It pretty much is, because you hear it in, like, a lot of different themes. I, I know part of it is in the Purple Coins theme. You hear it in the credits theme. You hear it in, I think, some Galaxy 2 tracks. So it's like, it pretty much just is the Galaxy theme as far as I'm concerned. Which they is, are, yeah. I mean, it also says something when it's the, when it's Champion Road and Galaxy, sorry, in 3D World. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, oh, good. Yeah, it's, uh, you, it's used quite, quite a lot in, in these games. And... I'm trying to think of something else where it's like, there's, we're part of the, because like every, because like you usually tell, because like when you hear about da 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 that part. Yeah, it's interesting because the, like this late in the game isn't usually where, uh, oh hi, uh, <laughs> like the most iconic theme. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? I think you're supposed to like, stand up, like, do a pan. I think you glitched. I don't. Let me try that again. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't feel that right. Was, that was that was interesting. No, I'm supposed to handstand. What? Uh, what was I, I think the, I think the animation didn't go through properly, so it didn't know how to react. <laughs> so Mario just lost all gravity. Yeah, it's like a life just, just killed went me. Went down. That's the weirdest stuff I've ever seen. Yeah, I think- I'm pretty sure you're supposed to, like, go down and then, like, loop back to the planet. Yeah, let's try, let's try that again. Oh, wait, no, I think I know what happened. You're supposed to make this first. Oh, uh, okay, so that was our own fault. Okay, well, I- I didn't know any better. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um... I feel like you were gonna say something scrappy. Um, yeah, it's a rarity for a... As you mentioned, excuse me, as you mentioned, it's a rarity for a level theme this late in the game to be kind of taken as the, as the quote unquote, un I can't, God, sorry, as the quote unquote iconic theme, or yeah. as we call it the Smash Brothers theme, because Sakurai always has to pick level one. Yeah. Um, yeah, because, well, when you think of, like, music tracks from this game, the two that tend to come to mind are this and Good Egg Galaxy, at least I mean, from I my think, experience. I just think of the, I just think of the main, the actual title theme from the game. Oh, that too, yeah. Da, 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 that. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I suppose it's telling that, that, that the title theme and Guthy Garden are what play for Rosalina and Smash Brothers. Yeah. Despite oh, yeah, the fact right. that Rosalina has oh, no not, real... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah, it's a few different... The more you do that, the more I get anxiety at this point. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just have to trust the game. I don't trust anything. Good joke. <laughs> uh. I kid. Yeah, there's just a bunch of different tiny planets to just give like one ups and whatnot. Don't they also? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I remember another thing in Galaxy Two. They also just flat out use this for the first part of um uh, of the of the the final the final levels. Oh, so that's some really good texture for Wii. Just gotta say. This is a- yeah. You know, it's been so long since I played Galaxy 2, I don't even remember what the final level's called. I think- I think it's Galaxy Generator? You mean like- No, the that's not level? what I mean. Oh, what, the, the uh- the final, final. Oh, level. the- the Grandmaster Galaxy or something? Yeah, yeah. Right. And what, what's the star- what's the star called? The final star? Uh, Perfect Run, I think? Yeah, the perfect run. Oh, so yeah, because during yeah. the perfect run, it plays that song first. Yeah, this place gives me um, PTSD because this is going to be the area for a really difficult purple coin challenge later. Ugh. Purple coins. Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> that worked out. Lol didn't count. <laughs> yeah. I've noticed that this this game doesn't do 2D sections that much. I, I think... If I, I could be misremembering, but I, f I think they do that more often in the in the second game. I yeah. remember like yeah, I remember like specific galaxies that are completely two D. Or like at least mm. most of it. 
by God, we can make. You can make a loose joke on how the 3D Mario games just kind of got more streamlined over a period of like, really, I guess from Galaxy of 3D World, so that's just six years. But. Mm. By the way, I'm gonna ask this now, Scrappy. Are, are you good for a longer session today? Yeah, how long? I mean, I, I, okay. I, depends on when. Depends on if they need me for the meeting. I guess I we'll just know. we'll just keep going as much as much as we can. Um, but yeah. Best case scenario, we'll finish the bedroom. Yeah, we'll try. Oh, we're doing the boss now. Yeah. I think this is where the secret star is. I think, uh, yeah, I think we're going to need a lot of, of star bits. Well, I think... No, I think what what this one is, is that you just have to keep fo uh, following the the question mark coins, and it eventually gives you a, st a rainbow star. Mm. Oh, good. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think... Oh, I don't know how to just pop in. It's like, what? <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like they don't even know what happened. Yeah, th this game is definitely... Uh, a lot more, um, like, I guess gung-ho about using the whole galaxy and gravity gimmick, whereas Galaxy 2 is more, for lack of a better term, conservative about it, and it's more concerned about how solid the level design itself is. Um, so, yeah, this is, this is definitely, like, just trying to go all out. Uh, do we want to... Nah, you know what, I'll, I'll do this later. But the gravity was going to say, screw you for a second. Yeah. Because you need to destroy these things, right? Uh, I don't think these things matter. They do get star bits, though. Well. I do think the orchestra, like, is a good fit for Mario. Like, this and the jazz stuff they had for free... Uh, was it 3D World and... Odyssey. Right. You like jazz? <laughs> easy joke is easy. Yeah. Okay. It is interesting going like seeing how how much they did use like the like the gravity and the spherical planets kind of design because when. Um, Miyamoto had the idea to like make this a thing. The a lot of the developers thought it was going to be impossible and like had doubts that this would work for a platformer. So it's kind of amazing how well it well it worked. We really have gone a long way since Mad Space. <laughs> Jeez. Sorry, that's usually the first thing I think about when it comes to bad gravity. I can't really think of many games that do this kind of, like, design. I... <laughs> I've gone to the bottom of the planetoids in Mad Space, but I had to fight the control stick, like, every step. Yeah, that's the thing. When you go to the bottom of the planets, that's when hell breaks loose. That's why there's a ring around it, because that's where the game's saying no. Yeah. Usually you don't need to go, like, down to the bottom. But, I don't yeah. think you even need to, except for maybe a, maybe a, maybe a hard mode, um... Thing? Yeah, probably. Um, but yeah. Have you guys looked at the... It's been a while since I played it too. Yeah, it's been a little bit. Um, yeah. I think the last time I played it was the speedrun. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, um... What was even your time on that? Uh... I, I don't remember. I think it was like two to three I'm hours. I probably were gonna say I could've done better. I mean, I definitely could've done better, but... Yeah, I think it was like two or three hours. For is it just playing every level or doing the stories? Uh, doing all stories. Uh. Yeah, I'll have to check. I know, I know we're on topic of Mario for the moment, but what was the hardest part? God, I don't remember. <laughs> um. Mm -hmm. Also, you don't need to go here, but just extra planet. It doesn't really have a lot, but it's, it exists. I guess. Eh. Yeah. Eh. Good. Is there even gravity on the other side of this thing? Yes, yeah, there, there is. is. Yeah, 
it intends you to like go around like this the long way, but yeah. Oh, this because of the spiral. Yeah. Let's just go move on. You know, like, I guess is... thorny and that would hurt, but here's the question: Why do the non-thorny parts hurt? It's <laughs> uh, poison ivy. Coin? Poison ivy. Yeah. I mean, the obvious. You know what Bitcoin is? Uh, uh, it's probably just a bunch of star bits or coins. Um, All right, you're saying. Yeah, it, it's. Yeah, I mean the the um, boring answer is the fa is um is it'll be too much work to make individual parts of that whole of the of the whole thing like like hurt you and not the like everything. I'm sorry, that was a, I thought this was a triple A game. <laughs> Shake my head, Nintendo. <laughs> also, this is really interesting because um. I guess originally there was going to be more of a like space background for for the stage because there's like early early footage of this caterpillar section and it's like different skybox. Did you guys watch the video from uh, Beta sixty four? No. I don't think so, but like uh, I might I might check that on my own later. Yeah, because I wanted to make mention of some of that at some point. Cause, That's fine. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll try to. Yeah, I'll try to like remember like as the stuff as much as I can. Cause I know like Mario One Twenty Eight was a thing. Like we've we. I'm pretty sure we've all seen like what that is. Where it, it's just a bunch of Mario's on that sphere, that weird GameCube planet thing, whatever it is, and. Uh, they'll, they'll, <laughs> yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. That, 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 that was perfectly timed. Yeah, I tried getting away, but it just it didn't wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, that was a thing, and there was just a long time period where Miyamoto was kind of like <laughs> cock teasing people for lack of a better term, uh, because they he kept on saying like Mario 128 is still a thing. Um, it will be shown off at like next year's E3, and even Reggie was saying that as well. And it just never got shown. And people were being like, you know, is this a thing that even exists? Um, and like, I think at that point, Miyamoto was try was trying to be a bit more um, general about the whole thing. And Mario One Twenty Eight is less of a actual game and more. They were experimenting with a lot of different things. And when the team that did that made Jungle Beat like finished that game, Miyamoto like suggested to like make a new 3D Mario as their next project and do with the whole gravity gimmick. And like I was saying earlier, that's when a lot of the team had doubts that it would work. Um, so there was a lot of just trial and error to get that working. And then Galaxy just became what it is. So Indirectly, Mario 128 be became Galaxy, and I guess, like, other games um, came from it as well, like Pikmin with the, having 100 Pikmin on the field and whatnot, so, it's, it's pretty interesting. Also, that was a boss. <laughs> isn't this guy, isn't this guy a speedrun comet? I think it might be a Daredevil comet. <laughs> Joy. Well, I guess we'll know because it's pretty likely that's gonna show up in a moment. Yeah. It can be one of the more difficult ones if you're not careful, because he, like, he can, like, attack you really fast, and it's not always super easy to like catch him. But oh, well, let's find yeah. out. I don't, I, I don't think it's gonna be available right, right away, but. 